Thank you. Thanks. Got the audio working good. Hey, I, I want to get your thoughts on, on, on the defense. I know maybe in the first half, uh, more missed tackles than you guys wanted, but it seemed like you came out stronger in the second half. But what was your overall thoughts on, on how you all played tonight as a defense? Um, it, it's we, we knew what they were going to do, you know, from watching film on them. And, um, you know, they have a really good – what they do is run, and their running backs are really good. They got some really good backs. And the goal was to stop them and, you know, try to make them one dimension on what they're doing. You know, yeah, we missed some opportunities out of there and we could have taken back. But I feel like um, we did kind of make them um, one dimensional towards the end. So we, we did what we were supposed to do. Yeah, uh, Lewis, I, I was wondering that you guys are always shoot for perfection. And they had a little run in there. They had uh, 10 unanswered points in the middle of the second quarter. I just wonder what the kind of the – uh, the attitude, the talk on the sideline was during that little period, and and obviously you played much better coming out in the second half. Um, you know? I feel like that that drive wasn't, you know, we we didn't play to our standard, not not one bit, because I think they had that was a 90, 90 yard drive or something. Yeah. I mean, um, we weren't tackling well, we weren't covering our guys the way we were supposed to, and um, though those things, we can't let that happen. Future references. Our next two questions will go to Anthony Dasher, followed by Dean Leggy. Hey, Lewis, just uh, kind of give me your take on, on Doty, South Carolina's quarterback today, and just the job you guys did defending him. Um, we knew what, you know, what, what he brought for their offense. You know, he's a fast guy. He, he can throw. Yeah, yeah, true, he's a freshman, but he can also play. And um, we watch a lot of film on him, and, you know, we, we find out ways we could, you know, disrupt disrupt his game, make him feel uncomfortable. But I feel like first, well, what is this, his first, second game? What was his second game? Um, yeah. You know, he, he did real good in, you know, trying to find guys open, running around. Thanks. Okay, Lewis, 12, if, if I'm reading this right, 12 solo tackles tonight. Um, wh why so many, I guess is the question. Um, I mean, again, like I said, they run. That's what they do. And um, with me, I, I'm not going to shy away from the run. I wanted, I wanted to, you know, make contact, you know, show that I was here, my presence was felt. And um, it has nothing to do with, you know, we weren't picking enough, we weren't, you know, doing our assignments or anything. I know it's just that, you know, the coaches put me in place where they knew they would trust me to be in the action. They knew I would come up big. Uh, next, we'll go to Seth Emerson, followed by the Macon Telegraph with either Brandon or Jed. Lewis, I don't know if you all look at it this way, but is it nice to have a game that I guess is, you know, you're winning comfortably enough? And whereas, like, you know, the last four games, you've had two losses, you've had two games that were kind of, you know, closer than expected. Was this one kind of nice in that way? It felt great. It felt awesome. We got redemption. Uh, Lewis, I, want, I wanted to ask you about um, your teammates on the offensive side of the ball. With what they did last week, you know, through the air and this week on the ground, how much excitement does that give you guys as a team of, you know, what they can do both the rest of this year and, you know, going forward maybe into next year? Uh, you know, I'm really excited for what the offense can do, um, for one. Um, what, what some of the young guys bring to the table, what the quarterback brings to the table, what the receivers are doing. You know, I felt like we've progressed and gotten so much better the more, the more as the season goes. And you can see that through how we're playing, how they're, you know, making things happen. And they play a very well balanced, balanced game for offense. And they just, they don't just run it. You know, you can see they pass it too. And, you know, that brings a lot of confidence that, to know, all right, guys, you got us. Probably have time for just one last question. We'll go to Jake Rowe. Uh, Lewis, I mean, are, are, is there any concern on, on your part or on the defense's part that, 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 that smothering kind of choking the team out like you guys have done uh, over the past couple of years just hasn't you know, been there the last few weeks? Is, it, is that concerning at all to you? Um, and I'm not concerned by that. I mean, for one, you got to understand, you know, the type of league we're in, this is the SEC, you know, there's copycats, there, um, 
the, the other teams prepare very well, you know. They don't just they don't just throw in a couple of plays and say, "All right, let's see if they work." They prepare very well. They watch film. They have guys who can play, and you're not gonna expect a shutout every time, you know. But um, we're really happy that we got the win, and we're really happy how really happy how t- tonight ended. Thanks, Lewis.